What's up everybody? I uh, got to run up to the shop today. I got a couple guys that are wanting to do some fall spraying so they're picking up some product. Uh, I got a couple farms to map for lime and I'm hoping we can get it dumped. Uh, we use an outside guy to get lime dumped. We just don't have a dump trailer. It's not, not necessarily anything we need at this point. Uh, most time we can find somebody to haul it pretty quick. Uh, our one guy that hauled just passed away, so that that's kind of a kick in the pants. Uh, we do have a backup guy, but he he's a little bit bigger of a company, so they they're usually busy. They're a couple days out. It's supposed to rain Thursday, and he can dump it Wednesday, so that's really going to put us in a put us in a pinch or put us in a rush because uh, we got about 150 acres of beans to get off to uh, from that point. So we'll definitely like pushing them to the end, right? A little windy out, uh, so I apologize about that. But here's our main main tool up here at the shop. Uh, it's an SV280 case. It's a don't quote me 2020 model, 2019. Can't remember. It's got about 400 hours on it. Uh, but I need this is a pile of lime that just needs reshaped. Uh, real hot and heavy there, right for weed. This is just a little leftover, so. Okay, so the reason I kind of did that is that'll help. Well, the plan is we're going to cut our beans up here tomorrow, and I'm going to spread that out in the field just to get rid of it. That way it's not here all winter. Um, but if it would rain, that helps shed a lot of water. If you have like, just piles like where the truck dumped it back there, water can really infiltrate that. And especially if you guys got co ops doing your lime. Um, you know, if that pile gets wet and wet and wet and more rain and it's just sitting out there, it slowly kind of just shrinks down and that's no bueno. Um, usually for me to get a good line pattern and a good spread pattern, we have to come in. Uh, usually, well, I guess our philosophy is we want to dump it and spread it the same day or within 24 hours. That's, as you... I guess I kind of shattered myself there. Um, that That's our goal uh, with lime. So if they're not reworking it kind of like that, that has been through some torrential rains and without working it like I did, it would never spread right. All right, welcome everybody. This is the uh, oh, mail here. Uh, first fertilizer video. But your first ride's gonna be in the 1803. She's uh, old. She's been around the block, but man, she's good. That's for sure. She is a good machine. Uh, we got some fertilizer spread for wheat ground. Uh, we got some guys that just got some double crops off, and we got rain coming, so uh, everybody wants to get everything done at once. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna roll here. So here we go. Hot load up. You don't know what this thing is.
Gap. Uh, 1995 model. Their uh, the cabs were too uh, spacious. Neighbors are over here running. Got beans. I got two big case machines running. Double crop soybean field. Which okay, so they didn't plant the whole field to double crops. Okay, I see what's going on here. I see. Thought maybe they didn't take all the double crops off. Alright, let's stick you on a window. Hey, that's not a terrible view. Uh this field's got some waterways. We'll see if you make it or not. Just get the computer set up, make sure everything's running. We'll get going here.